sorry, got carried away. It's an example of how a uh, business has taken the idea of selling Kangaroo Island as part of selling their overall product. So her um, brand basically is that she tries to find local producers and um, she makes a particular sun protection um, item so it's linked to nature and the outdoors and it's only sold online or at sea link which was really interesting and the remarkable brand is something that you might want to look into um, a bit more because I think she's really captured the idea of a niche kangaroo island based um, branding so then we go to preparatory materials five which is the islander and this one is um, the good old islander newspaper and looking at what sorts of changes we're seeing in tourism now this is obviously from 2017 so things have changed a little bit since then but we can see that there has been an increase and what we're getting here is a set of trends about um, the sorts of things happening with Kangaroo Island. It goes into lots of detail about all the different ways that the um, island is being accessed and the types of experiences that people are um, liking. So those are our five sources. And if we go back to the questions, our preparatory materials are a little bit different to last time because what we're going to do is go through them um, kind of together in that um, we're not separating them out as much. So the first question is asking us to think about the main selling points of Kangaroo Island that the advertisements promote. So this um, can refer to the Let, it, Let Yourself Go campaign and we can look at what type of um, aesthetic or features the advertisement is actually promoting. Um, when we look at as well the way that uh, Susan is creating her brand, what is it that she's building her brand off of? And if we look at what the Islander is talking about, we can see that most of the people who have um, arrived are interested in the um, you know, traveling around the island, about full driving, about wilderness, um, you know, actually being able to experience local food, art, craft, markets, all of that stuff. Okay. So in this first question, we'd be wanting to look at um, what is it that Kangaroo Island is selling? And so in this question, you might think about some things like the natural resources and we could think which ones um, we might have arts and culture and what uh, cultural aspects that is I think there's also a very technical term a vibe um, and so we're looking at what um, atmosphere or experience is KI selling so then um, when we look at identifying what it's selling, we then have to think about the impact. And the impact is in tourism, does it appeal to the tourist? Does it make it a desirable place to go? And we know from our other sources that yes, it does. There's been big increases in tourist numbers. Now what's interesting is that um, this is all pre-bushfires and pre-corona so when we talk about this we're going to have to be really clear to say prior to the bushfires, prior to lockdown because obviously that's changed quite significantly. Mm -hmm. 